Now let's talk about the most important part. The twelfth part is the nutrient solution. So when we talk about the nutrient solution, we talk about mainly two things. One is what nutrients we are giving to them, and the nutrients are either macronutrients or the micronutrients. So we have to understand these are two types of nutrients. Either they are macro elements or they are micro elements. So when we talk about macro elements, the elements which we need into the large quantity, for example, nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium, calcium, magnesium, or sulfate. We need sulfur. All this we need into the large quantity. They go in commercial farming. They goes into cages. We put, we keep them into cages like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. This go in like five kg, four kg, two kg. Apart from that, then there is a micro elements. Micro elements are like they ne plants need them at the very minute quantity. So they goes into the gram. Sometimes into the milligrams. Like boron. Boron goes into the milligrams. Molybdenum. It goes into the milligrams. Ferrous goes into the grams. Zinc goes into the grams. I'm talking about the commercial farm. I'm talking about the thirteen thousand head production farm. For five thousand square feet, we need magnesium like two grams. So two grams magnesium is enough to run a five thousand square feet farm to run thirteen thousand head production. This much magnesium is enough. When I talk about the ferrous, seventy grams ferrous is good enough to run a five thousand square feet farm. So micro elements we need at a very small quantities. So we don't invest a lot of money into micro elements, and plant doesn't need micro elements for their growth boosting. Plants need micro elements only for two things. First thing, either survive from the disease or the pest. Second thing, to stimulate the growth patterns. Like if they want to increase the photosynthesis process, or they want to increase the root development. So for all this, you no, know, as a growth boost, at a very small quantities, they need micro elements. So whenever we talk about nutrient solutions, we have to understand: do we need? Uh, we are talking about macro elements, or we are talking about micro elements. A lot of people get this confusion. Okay, if I'm, I should give everything into the equal quantity. No, it doesn't work that way. Plants need different elements at the different quantity. So as we spoke, as we spoke in the last part, that we need nitrogen whenever we want the leaf leafy growth of the plants. So that time we need a high nitrogen. So whenever we want like a high no. root development that, that time we need potassium with the team we need phosphorus same time same like micronutrients we need ferrous whenever we want like uh, greenery in the leaves we want to you know increase or boost the photosynthesis process that time we need ferrous but we need ferrous at the very small quantity there we don't need ferrous into kgs for you know quantity we need into some micrograms you know ferrous per plant so that's how we should able to control that how much macro element and how much micro element do we need to maintain while running the farm operations So now let's talk about the what is nutrient solution. Why to prepare the nutrient solution? How to use the nutrient solution? So maybe whenever you have tried learning about the hydrophonic nutrient solution, you would have understood. Okay, there are two type of nutrients. Either there is a tank A or there is a tank B. Lot of people are confused about it. What is tank A and what is tank B? And how it is exactly connected to the hydrophonic system? And why do we even need it? So let's take a one step back approach to this. So whenever we take fertilizers from the local market or local shop, or we are buying from the online, when from whenever we are getting fertilizers, we get fertilizers into the dry salt format or a dry granular format. So this fertilizers uh, plants we cannot expose plants directly to this granular format. We cannot take the NPK in the bucket and we cannot dip plant into the, that NPK. Plant won't be able to take that fertilizer for the growth. Plants will die. So what we have to make sure is we have to make sure that this fertilizer is completely diluted into the water. It goes into the ionic formation phase. The ion formation is happened. Now they are they are dissolved into the water at the ppm level, like particle level. They are dissolved into the water. Now these ions are consumed by the plants by their roots. So this is the flow we have to uh, maintain. So when we try to dilute this fertilizer, mix these fertilizers into the water, we face a second big issue. when chemicals uh, different kind of a chemicals when they come in contact with each other they form different different chemical reactions the same issue happens with the nitrate and sulfate when your nitrate based chemicals and sulfate based, uh, based chemicals they come together they form different kind of a salt and it deposits into the water at the bottom what happens we lose lot of money on the fertilizers if it is not getting dissolved into the water plants are not able to take it to solve the problem what we do is we create a tank a for the nitrate based solutions and we create tank b for the sulfate based solution whatever the nitrate based solutions we have they go into tank a whatever sulfate based solutions we have they go into tank b and micro elements are added into tank b or tank a it's uh, up to your choice you can add them into anything uh, we generally at our farm we add them into the tank b solutions so this is the formula for the tank a formation and tank b formation